there because one of the things that I noticed about every successful person when I was growing up, when I was out looking for mentors, was their ability to go straight to the source. Their secret source was going to the source. I'm reading a book at the moment um, on Elon Musk, and uh, it's a book about how when he was uh, younger with his brother, they would play a game where they would actually go to the newspaper, find interesting articles, people they wanted to meet, put a list of those people down, and then phone them up. And this is when they were kids, and they were phoning up business people, journalists, and saying, we'd like to meet up with you, have lunch together. Um, I've noticed that with people who have been my mentors over time, if there's ever something that someone's trying to figure out the solution to, they'll say, who is the number one person who knows about this? You know, if they're looking at a new market, who's the, who's the leader in this market who should know the most? Um, I'm right now in Peru. We are up in the Andes. You can see here that our view is pretty incredible. Um, we're actually looking down over the Andes. And here, let me actually show you what happens when you go up to the source. We were down in the Amazon and uh, spending time with the Ashwa tribes and just talking about what are the solutions to ensure the sustainability in the world, that the rainforest continues, that the traditions of the tribes people uh, continue as well. And what they've done is they've gone straight to source. They've said, well, how do we get the government to give nature rights, which they've actually achieved here in Ecuador? How do we make sure that the government actually is making the rainforest a protected area you know so they're actually marching this uh, next week uh, to quito which is the capital of ecuador they're going to be coming through this place here which is banos um, we're looking right down from up here these are these are hot springs up here and we're looking right down over the town of banos we're six thousand feet up in the sky right now here let me show you what this is like when we go out here and uh um this river that this river that actually comes through this area actually then connects up with a bunch of other rivers and ends up in the amazon and it's really interesting when you actually take the metaphor of a river that your journey in life wherever you're looking to go whatever flows occurring in your markets in your industry there's somewhat already upstream you know there's similar so if you actually head upstream a couple of things happen first thing that happens is things get narrower there's actually not as much overwhelming information uh you're gonna you're gonna find that um the people who now are creating the bridges for uh, our mobile technology, for uh, the internet. They all knew each other 20 or 30 years ago when they were upstream, before the river had come to all of us, and they were connected at that point. You wanna look into the future, find the people who already are upstream creating the future together so that in 20 or 30 years time, they're the ones creating the big spans, they're the ones who have the large companies, um, and go look to see who those people are who are forging that future as well. Um, so the first thing is when you go upstream, it becomes narrower and you actually find that the people already connecting together within your industry, um, they already know each other and they're already thinking about that future which is coming their way. The second thing you'll notice is you kind of look down here and uh, it's a pretty incredible view down here as we're looking down on the city is as you go upstream, the mountains start to take form. You actually can actually see things from a height. You know that, um, uh, that, that, that phrase, you know, not being able to see the wood from the trees is what happens when you're inside the trees. There's no height to be able to look down on things. So you can't see the whole map. So for a lot of us, we're kind of like, you know, at the beginning of our entrepreneurial journey, we're kind of like saying, well, how do we get involved in this market? And if you're stuck inside the trees, you can't even see it. But if you actually go upstream and you actually start finding that the people upstream have got a picture of the whole industry, you say to the people who are actually leading the industry or the people who might even be the customers who've been in the industry the longest. Like, you know, where, why are they buying, where are they buying from, who are they partnering with? Once you start looking upstream, you start noticing that those people actually have got terrain, they've got height, which allows them to actually see a map of the entire city. You know, if you're actually down in Banyos right now, and you don't know your way, and you actually wanted to go to the cathedral, or you wanted to go to the sports stadium, it'd be pretty tricky to do if you didn't have a map or if you didn't have people to ask directions. But from up here, you can see all the landmarks straight away. And in the same way, when you're actually looking at those who are upstream, the ones who already have that source to whatever flow you're looking for, you'll find that they have a map because they're actually looking from above. They're able to see uh, the entire map of what's happening within the market, where value is flowing, how money is flowing the other way as well. So whenever I'm looking at anything new, my secret source that I will use is the secret that hit, that's hidden in plain sight. It's the fact that we all have that ability to go upstream and to actually from upstream be able to actually see the map, see the clarity, and also to be together with those who are out there creating the future. Whatever your business is, whatever you're looking to achieve right now, think about it as a river and ask yourself that same question, which is, 
If you were to go upstream, who would you be with? What would you be looking at? And what questions would you ask them would allow you to be of value to them as well, which would be why they would want to pass their value onto you. Until the next episode, hope you have an amazing week and we'll catch up with you again in a week's time.